Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the delete request or the delete mapping. In this video, we'll see the last CRUD operation, which is the updating a record or how we can update an employee record using a JPA repository. So let's get started. So I'll fire up my Eclipse ID. So I'm going to stop the server first. And I'll clear the console and let me minimize this. So right now I'm in the main class. Let me go to the controller class. So I'm going to uncomment this uh, this method we have written in our previous video series. If you haven't checked out, the link will be given in the description section. Go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to uncomment this. Okay, now what I'll do is I'm going to remove the code which we have written inside this method. Okay, I'm going to import the put mapping. Control Shift O. Okay, fine. Now I'll make use of this employee DAO. Employee DAO dot. I'm going to call a save method because we do not have any update method in the JPA repository. So I'm, I will make use of this save method itself. Okay. So to this save method, we will pass the employee object. Okay. And I'm going to return the employee object. Okay. So the updated record, it, it will be returned. Okay. Let's save this. So what this save method is does again, this is going to, uh, this is a similar to a creating an employee object. But what we are doing in this put mapping, we are passing the employee ID. Okay, so if you go to the employee DAO, we have returned this. Okay, we have an employee and we have a primary key type, which is an integer. Okay, so now what we'll do is it will check for the primary key, which is an integer. And if we are passing an ID, because in the database we have make the primary key as auto increment. Okay, it will check whether if the ID is coming in this uh, JPA repository, then it will think that okay, the the someone is uh, making a put request. So which means we need to update the record. So it is not going to create a new record. Instead, it will update the existing record by using the primary key. Okay. But if we are getting a ID as a null, then it will think that, okay, the people making a, or the someone making a post request. So I need to create a new object. So at that time it will create a new object. Okay. So that's it. We are not going to call any uh, separate method update or something like that. We are going to call the same old save method so but this time we are going to pass the id okay so but when we are creating a new employee object we are not going to pass the employee we are not going to pass the employee id so that's the difference so let's go to the controller okay so let's save this and i'll go to the main class and right click run as or you can press ctrl f11 this is going to run the application all right, the application is uh, up and running in a default port 8080. So I'll go to the REST client and I'm going to first let's see how many records are there in the database. So get and I'm going to click the send button. We do get two records, okay, John and Michael. So let's update the John record, okay. Uh, I'm change this John into something like, um, okay, let's make it Kathy itself. So I'm going to change the name of John to Kathy and uh, the gender would be female so that's we are going to change and we have to pass the employee id which is nine okay so i'll pass the employee id which is nine and okay we are not passing anything of course okay i'll change this to put okay i'm going to copy this okay and i'll go to the body and i'll change this to kathy and she's female okay so let's save this and if you go to the controller you can see the request mapping okay slash employee that's all we are not passing the employee id okay so in the body we are passing the employee id so it will check if the id is available then it will update if the id is not available if it is coming null then it will create an employee object okay so let's go ahead and make a request when I click the send button, you can see that uh, we are getting this ID is nine name, Kathy, gender, female. Let's verify this. I'm going to make a get request and you can see this time we are getting a two records and the record has been updated to Kathy and she's female. So let's verify in a database. So I'll fire up the database and let's, okay. You can see that we have two records and it is updated. So before it was, uh, John and we have changed it to Kathy female and business analyst and the, whatever the date of birth Alright, so this is all about the CRUD operations by 
using a uh, all right that's it this is all about uh, the CRUD operations using a JPA repository by using a JPA so I hope you understand uh, I hope you enjoyed this video series and uh, yes I'm not going in detail about the JPA repositories because it's a it's a huge concept uh, we cannot cover in a, a couple of videos it will take uh, almost 20 to 25 videos but I make this video series as much as simple as possible so again if you are looking for a source code you can head over to my github repository as uh, github.com slash scbushan05 and you can find the repository right over here okay and uh, if you haven't su sub subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can go to the playlist section you can find the spring boot hibernate mysql rest api as well as uh, spring boot hibernate and mysql web application and right now i'm uploading the spring boot with the jpa and later we are going to make the spring boot hibernate spring boot jpa web application as well and make sure to subscribe make sure to visit my website oceancircle.n for more articles so that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video